Great work! Well, you're looking more like a head chef every day. <laughs> Whatever crazy characters come walking through that door, I know you'll be able to handle them. Wait, no! Every time you say something like that, you jinx it! Hey, that's not true. Anyway, I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> Dude, what up, bro? I didn't know you were in Liyue too. Ah, it's always nice to run into a broadie and a zooming fellow. But uh, wait, did I say that right? Almost. I think you meant fellow Inazuman abroad, boss. Ah, yeah, 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 that's the one. Yeah, we gotta look out for each other when we're this far from home, don't we, Ayato? <laughs> Flying Lavender Melon, uh, of the Sky Cleaving White Iron variety. <laughs> and my compadre, too! All my buddies in one place! God, today's my lucky day! Didn't you say you were gonna knuckle down and earn some more when you got home? How come you're back in Lily so soon? Ah, <laughs> that could wait. As soon as I announce that Arataki Ito is available for hire, they'll be throwing more at me. Right now, I got a more urgent situation to attend to. I'm in the mood for some good, spicy food. Oh, and uh, while we're here, we were gonna also see if Grandmaster Hanakado's okay and whatnot. Not too long ago, I heard a rumor that someone was hosting an Onikabuto fighting contest in Liyue. Naturally, I came here as soon as I could, but alas, it was too late. What? You missed it? Aw, oh, man, what a bummer! Quite the bummer, indeed. Though all is not lost. Since you're here, you'll be able to tell me all about it. <laughs> sure thing, my man. But uh, let's catch up over some food, huh? Where's the chef, anyway? Hey, get the chef out here! I got compadres to feed! Yeah, sure, me too. Wait, what? Wow. Bullchucker set up that one for us really nicely. Gotta give him some credit for that. Uh, <laughs> good one, compadre. You almost got me there. All right, well, uh, get the chef out here. So, uh, may I take your order? <laughs> if you're entertaining guests, I can recommend the palace jewels, a trembling strings and rushing reeds, or... Boss, don't forget the budget. Yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, um, uh, got anything a little more, uh, down to earth? Down to earth? Oh, well, well we do a mean humbly enough. Real hearty dish with a ton of flavor, and we don't skimp on the portion size either. That'd be the best value for your mora. Humbly enough, huh? Oh, sounds like my kind of grub. We'll take that. No need for anything fancy. We're all friends here. Excellent choice, Ito. I'm no fan of culinary ostentation either. <laughs> Sometimes a bro just knows. Hmm? A bro just knows? Yes, a bro just knows! <laughs> bros don't suppose, cause bros just knows! Is this for real? Ah, oh, whatever. Paimon's leaving you guys to it. Let me guess where you're from. Gotta say, your friend's quite a character. Still, humbly enough isn't that hard to make, so I don't think we'll have any problems with this order. Humbly enough, anyway. A hearty meat dish is a good start, but in Paimon's experience, one humble dish is never enough. Uh, I said it was hearty, but I never said it contained meat. Don't be fooled by the appearance. It's actually just tofu, made to look and taste like meat. Wait, tofu's made of beans, isn't it? Oh, Bullchucker can't eat that. Guess we should get them to pick something else instead. What's the issue? I think I caught the word tofu. Wait, what are you doing? The, the kitchen is staff members only. 
<sighs> Never mind. I'll let it slide. Ma'am, could you possibly ask your boss to order something else instead? <laughs> no one gets my bro Ayato like I do. I hereby declare that humbly enough will be an everlasting symbol of our friendship, or my name ain't Arataki Ito! Hey, where's our food at? Hurry up, I'm almost done recounting the epic adventures of Crimson Staff. Uh, as you can see, changing the order may be a little difficult. Oh, brother, his whole ego is riding on this, huh? Even if we break the news to him, he'd probably rather eat the tofu than eat his words. Sounds good. I'll make sure he fills up on those. We'll just have to play the rest by ear. So this is humbly enough. You guys don't mess around. Woo, love me that portion size. Come on, compadre, grab a seat. We're all friends here, so don't hold back. I'm just gonna dig right in. <clears throat> Boss, we should respect the local customs. Here in Liyue, it's polite to let the guests eat first. Polite? Uh, Shinobu, I thought old-timey traditions weren't your style. Huh? Are you kidding me, compadre? Oh, wait, I get it. The food smells so dang good, now everyone's dying to go first. Well, guess I only got my own good taste to blame. Go on, dive in. I'll wait till last. Uh... <laughs> I see. Finally, it's my turn. I spy a big chunk of deliciousness with my name on it. Wait! Don't! Huh? Wait, what is it now? Huh? Okay, here goes. Anyway, so, uh... Paimon forgot to tell you the really cool origin story of this dish! Origin story? Dude, who cares where it came from? We all know where it's going. <laughs> Am I right? Down the gullet! The origin story is like, like, going traveling without a tour guide. Trust Paimon, you'll get way more out of the experience after you hear it. Paimon makes an astute observation. Much as every tea must be appreciated on its own terms, is it not a waste of the chef's goodwill to sample a dish without hearing its tale? My compadre's goodwill, huh? Oh, can't have that going to waste. All right then, give me the full story. I'm all ears. Ingredients. Actually, no! Let's start with the story of Wang Xiuin, which starts 
with the history of Dihua Marsh. Now's our chance, traveler. Man, the tale of Dihua Marsh hits hard. People in the past had it pretty rough. Makes you appreciate what you got. Humbly enough, yeah, that's a good way to think about life. Darn, there's no segue to Tofu from here. How did we get so off topic? Uh, well, good news is there's only a little bit left. Uh, oh, compadre, Shinobu, have you been eating this whole time? Save me some dregs, why don't ya? That's it, I'm done waiting. It's my turn to eat. Wait, boss, that's made of... One moment, Ito. I have a small request, if you would be so kind as to consider it. I left home in a hurry and was unable to bring any of my family with me. They've all heard so much about you and are huge admirers of the Arataki gang, so they will be devastated to learn that they missed out on this opportunity. However... If you were willing to let me bring the remaining portion of Humbly Enough back to them, I'm sure it will help to lift their spirits. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Boss, you gotta do right by your friends. They're pretty big on that in Liyue. Besides, you did eat quite a lot of the grilled fish while we were waiting for the main course. Including mine and Ayato's. Huh? Oh, those were for you guys? Ah, oh, dang it! I got too carried away telling that story, didn't I? In that case, pass my regards to your fam, bro. El Chefe, can we get the rest of this to go? Count Crushmore. Instant kill. I never knew there were so many elite beetle fighters in Liyue. <laughs> Can you imagine? That would be tardiness of the most unfashionable variety. No, in truth, this trip is part business, part leisure. Every visitor has their own agenda. For some, the festivities are all the more reason to visit. For others, all the more reason to avoid the crowds. In any case, one way or another, I seem to have ended up in the right place at the right time. Now, as for the leftover tofu, yes, I'm sure Toma will dispose of it as he sees fit. I have to get back to the docks as soon as this meal is done. Well, uh... I can explain. Boss recently found work as a sailor, which allowed him to hitch a ride here. After the ship docked, he had some free time to do as he pleases. He's been using that time to hang out with Grandmaster Hanakato. Just because he's here already! No other reason! <laughs> Looks like that's all sorted. All right. Take some time to collect yourself. The next big group is coming in. If you're not sure what to do next, Take you on a walk. 